I'm Austin Dillon with Pierce Phelps, and today we're looking at the 40 MBAB four-way multi-positional air handler from Carrier Bryant. The 40 MBAB air handler replaces the previous generation 40 MBAA air handler and offers several upgrades over the older model, most notably an expanded capacity range that now runs 18 through 60,000 BTUs and new cabinet dimensions that include a 17-inch wide option at the 18 and 24,000 BTU size increments. The 18, 24, and 30,000 BTU units are compatible with the 38 MARBQ model single zone outdoor units, as well as our 38 MGRBQ, 38 MGHBQ, and previous generation 38 MGRQ multi zone outdoor units. The 36, 48, and 60,000 BTU iterations are compatible with the 38 MBRCQ and previous generation 38 MBRBQ model single zone outdoor units only. Additionally, there is a dedicated three-ton air handler for use with our multi-zone systems. However, please note that this is a different model than the three-ton single zone unit. The 40 MBAB sizes 18 through 30,000 BTU, as well as the three-ton multi-zone air handler, require 230 volt power and wire to a corresponding outdoor unit using a 14 gauge stranded four conductor tray cable. This wire is landed on the L1, L2, S, and ground terminals of the indoor and outdoor equipment. This connection provides both communication and power to the indoor equipment. Single zone sizes 36, 48, and 60,000 are also 240 volt, but require a 14 gauge three conductor wire for power and a separate 16 gauge stranded wire for communication. When this is the case, Terminals S1 and S2 will be present on both the indoor and outdoor equipment. Line set connections are made via mechanical flares on both the indoor and outdoor units. On multi-zone units, line set size is dictated by the indoor unit connection. Electrical penetrations may be made either on the right-hand side or top of the unit through the provided knockouts and require field-provided strain relief. Electric heat kits are available for the 40 MBAB air handlers and come in 5, 8, 10, 15, 20, and 25 kW size options. When electric heat kits are used, a dedicated power circuit is required. However, the air handler is still powered by the outdoor unit wire connection. The control compartment has been relocated to the upper cabinet and contains two control boards, the primary PCB and the 24 volt interface. There is a digital display on the 24 volt interface that will allow for fault and operational codes to be referenced. The 40 MBAB air handler is four way multi positional and comes out of the box ready for upflow or horizontal left and may be converted to downflow or horizontal right by rotating the coil 180 degrees. The coil slides in and out of the cabinet on tracks. Once the doors have been removed, the return air and coil temperature sensors should be removed and the coil is then free to slide out of the cabinet. The coil may then be rotated and slid back into place using the upper tracks provided in the housing. Sensors should be rerouted through the provided track in the drain pan and reinstalled in their correct positions. This includes relocating the return air sensor to the apex of the coil in the return air stream. A zip tie can be used to secure it in place. Lastly, the gasket should be reapplied to the drain pan and the mounting bracket relocated to the right-hand side of the cabinet. The unit provides two three-quarter inch threaded drain connections in each position, intended for primary and emergency drainage, and requires that a P-trap be installed at the outlet of the drain pan. Any condensate safety devices should be wired to break the circuit between terminals one and three of the push pin connector located on CN5 of the main PCB. Additionally, the J1 jumper must be removed before the board will respond to the safety circuit opening. When the circuit is open, the unit's 24 volt interface will display an EH03 and the unit will not operate. The 40 MBAB air handler boasts a multi speed ECM blower, which has the ability to deliver airflow across a variety of static conditions and can be applied to existing ductwork. The motor housing rests on tracks and can be quickly and easily removed for maintenance by removing the screw on either side. The 40 MBAB air handler comes with airflow preset from the factory via a rotary dial on the main PCB. No field adjustments are required and the rotary dial should not be adjusted unless a replacement board is being installed. The unit ships with a low resistance washable filter 
which may be used or discarded in favor of a replaceable media, and the unit requires that the return air connection be made from the bottom. Like all carrier Bryant ductless systems, the unit receives metered refrigerant from the outdoor unit, and as a result, a ductless style line set with both lines insulated must be run. The 18 through 48,000 BTU capacity options use 3 8 and 5 8 line sets, and the 5 ton unit requires a 3 8 and 7 8 line set. No filter dryers or other line set accessories should ever be installed. The 40 MBAB air handler ships with a wire controller but may also be configured for use with a conventional 24 volt field provided thermostat. Dip switch SW11, located on the 24 volt interface, is used to toggle between these two control options. When the dip switch is in the off or default position, the unit is configured for use with the wire controller. The KSACN01001 AAA uses an RG485 connection that can be facilitated by a standard 18 gauge two conductor thermostat wire. These connections are non-polarity sensitive and should be wired to the HA and HB terminals of the indoor unit 24 volt interface as well as the matching terminals on the wire controller. When using a conventional 24 volt thermostat, SW11 should be moved into the on position. The 40 MBAB facilitates both single and two stage compressor inputs as well as up to two stages of backup heat inputs. This means that if the unit has no backup heat source, the thermostat should be configured as either a one heat, one cool heat pump, or as a two heat, two cool heat pump. As a reminder, the unit is inverter driven and the Y1 and YY2 terminals do not indicate staged operation, but rather give the system a sense of how far from set point the space temperature is. The B terminal initiates the reversing valve and the thermostat should be configured to energize the reversing valve in the heating mode. When backup heat is being used, the thermostat can again be configured in a number of ways, most commonly as either a two heat, one cool heat pump, or as a three heat, two cool heat pump. Backup heat calls should be landed on either the W1 or W2 terminals of the air handler's 24 volt interface board, and these terminals come out of the box jumped together. This means that backup heat call may be landed on either terminal. Should staged backup heat be desired, the W1 and W2 terminals may be decoupled by moving dip switch SW41 into the off position. Note that the W, L, and AUX slash E terminals are not currently recommended for use. The 40 MBAB also has the ability to provide advanced dehumidification. This is accomplished by a thermostat, which is capable of providing a 24 volt call for dehumidification during a cooling call. This feature is configured by moving dip switch SW4-2 from its default position into the off position. Additional features and functionality include a blower interlock terminal on pins one and three of CN23 located on the main PCB. These dry contacts are closed during blower operation and can be used to control an electronic air cleaner, humidifier, UV lights, or any other accessories which may require blower interlock. The terminals on CN43 of the main PCB are also interlocked to the blower, but provide 24 volt hot and common to serve as pilot duty for any additional accessory controls. Lastly, there is a remote on-off terminal located on the 24 volt interface, which when open will prevent unit operation. Out of the box, the circuit is kept closed via a jumper located on JR1 of the 24 volt interface. Regular maintenance of the 40 MBAB air handler includes cleaning and replacing of filters on a regular basis. The frequency with which this may be required is dependent upon several factors, including filter type, annual runtime, and the general conditions within the condition space. The blower wheel should also be inspected during maintenance and cleaned when necessary. The motor and wheel are easily accessible for cleaning through the front of the unit. Likewise, the coil should be inspected regularly and cleaned when necessary. Finally, the drain should be cleaned as part of the system's regular maintenance. The 40 MBAB air handler, whether used as an add-on cooling product, part of a multi-zone ductless system, or as a replacement option for conventional heat pumps, represents an excellent opportunity for dealers to provide their customers with a fantastic value proposition. The inverter-driven compressor provides amazing heating and cooling performance and efficiencies, even at extreme outdoor temperatures, all with a small footprint and whisper-quiet operation. We hope that you are as excited as we are by the features that these new models offer 
and the expanded capacity and multi-zone options. I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Austin Dillon with Pierce Phelps, and as always, please reach out to me with any questions you might have regarding Carrier Bryant Douglas equipment. Thank you and have a nice day.